hi libra sun moon venus or rising and welcome welcome to your general reading this is the dream clairvoyant formerly known as the dream medium thank you so much for tuning in i hope you're doing well so let's see what your message is okay this is a general reading for libra sun moon venus or rising general reading for libra sun moon venus or rising general reading for libra sun moon venus or rising you have the star general reading for libra sun moon venus or rising knight of wands general reading for libra nine of wands i feel like this wanted to flip out the high priestess okay all right, let's see what's going on. Clarify the star. King of Swords. Clarify the star. Clarify the star. Page of Swords. Clarify the star, okay. Clarify the star. Knight of Cups. hermit okay let's see what's happening here libra let's see i feel like hmm hold on i'm getting like multiple messages tell me the magician I feel like you're about to get communication like super duper soon so soon that i can smell it <laughs> can you smell communication coming towards you i can i i just feel like it's it's about to happen really soon okay um this is what you've been manifesting okay whether you want this person back or not libra you have manifested this person to communicate with you the star card is manifestation. Then you have the king of swords. This is who you manifested. You may have manifested this months ago. Like you can sit here and say, no dream. I don't want them. I don't want anything to do with them. Yada, yada, yada. Yeah, but at one point in time, at a certain time, you manifested this individual. And now it's happening. Now they're coming towards you. Okay. Um, and that's why you have to be careful with what you manifest because it will happen eventually. So let's talk about this King of Swords, because this is someone, the King of Swords is a really good communicator, an excellent communicator. He is not the warmest communicator, and I'm saying he because it's a king, but these cards are not gender specific. They are energies that anyone can embody. But this King of Swords is an excellent communicator. He's very serious. He's very strict. He's very honest and he's very transparent. That's why you see him here with the dictionary. He has a lot to say. You have manifested communication from this person and this is what's about to happen so, so soon if this is your reading. In Clarity of the Star, you have the Page of Swords. Pages represents a form of communication. I feel like this message is going to come from a distance, though. So most likely like a phone call, a text, or uh, a message through social media. I feel like this individual has already, you know, when you're about to message someone, they've already like typed up their paragraph or they've been trying to form their sentences and, and practice what they're going to say to you. I feel like that's what they've been doing. They've been practicing what they're going to say to you. Okay. You even have the Knight of Cups here. The Knight of Cups for me, this is someone who, you know, definitely wants to make things right after wronging you. Okay. Even here you have the Queen of Swords. This is how they see you. They see you as someone who is going to be very hard to get to, 
because the Queen of Swords can be very cold hearted, very mean and very distant. Okay, and they know that it's not going to be easy. They know it's not going to be easy. It's like they can, it's like they know that you've been waiting for their arrival to deal with them. That's why you see this queen is here with the sword in her hand. She is ready for the person who hurt her to come forward so that she can give them a piece of her mind. But I feel like this person is going to surprise you. Okay, because they are also the, the king of swords, the, 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 the king and queen of swords are counterparts, you guys are mirroring each other. So they know that in order to get access to you, they have to be the king of swords, they have to match your energy, they have to be just as serious, blunt and straightforward as you are. They're not here to play games, the king of swords doesn't play games. Okay. You even have the magician. The magician is a manifester. Like I said earlier, you manifested this. You manifested communication from them and that's exactly what's gonna happen. Even here with the Four of Wands, let's look at the Four of Wands, clarify the Four of Wands. And you have justice, so this is your justice here. Let me see. I feel like, this, I feel like you're, you're gonna be very shocked at what this person is gonna say to you. Perhaps you don't know everything that happens, okay? Because in Clarity of the Four of Wands, you have the tower. So I actually feel like this person is going to want to commit to you. I feel like they're going to, um, I feel like they're going to give you some sort of love offer, okay? Um, I feel like they're going to give you some sort of love offer to reconcile with you, but you don't see it coming at all because you feel like this person is, is probably like a player and they're up to no good. Um, but it's a pleasant surprise that's going to happen. Clarify the Knight of Wands. 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 The thing is, I feel like there is another person who has their eyes on you, Libra, because the Knight of Wands, this is definitely someone who is around your age. This is someone who I feel is very spontaneous, very adventurous. I feel like this person is also very talkative. Um, they're just very entertaining. They're very fun. Um, very good looking. Knights are known to be very, very attractive. They're very charming. They're very sexy. They have this really good sex appeal to them. Um, and the chemistry is already there. There's going to be tension, but I, I feel like this individual is already in your energy. I'm just not sure if you are acknowledging them. Um, in Clarity of the Knight of Wands, you have the death. Mm. The death represents an ending. It also represents a transformation, putting an end to your past and starting a new beginning. This knight wants you to let go of your past. That's the thing. So that tells me that this knight is aware of your past and what you went through with this past lover. 
Okay, Libra. Okay, this is getting interesting. I feel like there's a knight who has been very interested in you. But I'm not sure if you are aware of this. They know you. They've, they've kept their eye on you. Mm. They even see you as the queen of pentacles. They see you as the queen of pentacles. So the queen of pentacles is the most valuable woman in the deck. So this person is aware of your qualities. They, they're admiring you. They know that you're very valuable. They know that you are um, very, very worthy. They know that you're very hardworking. They see you as a very successful individual. The queen of pentacles is successful due to her hard work. So there's a lot of admiration here. This person is acknowledging your qualities, your skills, your hard work. That tells me that they've been observing you. They've been watching you, Libra. This person really wants you to let go of a past. Like they're just waiting for you. They're waiting for a green light to talk to you. They're waiting for you to release a past situation because the world is all about completion. This is, this is our second confirmation. First, we have the death. They're wanting you to put an end to your past and start a new beginning. And then you have the world, which represents completion. They're wanting you to wrap up the situation with your past love, you know, close out past cycles and start a new beginning with them. You have no clue who this Knight of Wands is because you're still stuck. You're here as the Eight of Swords. You feel stuck. You're still stuck on what transpired in your past. How can you manifest new love if you still have not forgiven and released your past? Because new love will only be given to you if you're ready for it. Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Show me who this Knight of Wands is. Show me who this Knight of Wands is. Show me who this Knight of Wands is. Nine of Swords. Show me who this Knight of Wands is. Show me who this, oops. Show me who this Knight of Wands is. I'm telling you, this person is very physically, sexually attracted to you, okay? <laughs> Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, Six of Pentacles. Who is this Knight of Wands? Show me who this Knight of Wands is. Clarify the, the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Clarify the Knight of Wands. Who is this Knight of Wands? The Hierophant. Hmm. So I asked who this Knight of Wands is. You have the Nine of Swords. The Nine of Swords is someone who is having sleepless nights over something. I feel like this Knight of Wands knows something that you don't know. What is keeping them up late at night? What's worrying this person? Clarify the Nine of Swords. What is worrying this person? I want us to go into this Knight of, Knight of Wands because I, I feel like they're significant. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Mm. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Clarify the Nine of Swords. Why is it Three of Swords out? Clarify the Three of Swords. Okay, this is getting kind of interesting because when I asked what's worrying them, you have the three of swords, which represents heartbreak, and then you have the four of cups and the hermit. So this individual feels like you won't be as interested in them as they're interested in you. They have felt rejected before. But why do I feel like most of you may not even know this person? You may be familiar 
You may be familiar with them, but I don't feel like you really know them. But this person definitely, you know, they worry whether or not you are interested in them romantically as they are interested in you. Even here at the Hermit, I kind of feel like they've been kind of hiding in the shadows, but admiring you, watching you and admiring you. They also came out as the Seven of Swords. Yeah, this person, you know who this individual is. They kind of remind me of like that one shy person that you don't really notice. It's like even in a, in a, in a social event, they're kind of just, you know, standing to the side, watching you. Four of Swords is here. I feel like this individual is going to communicate with you because with the Four of Swords, I, I feel like a lot is on their mind and they're feeling kind of bad about something here. Is this Knight of... Let me ask something. Is this Knight... Yeah, look, Page of Pentacles. They're going to talk to you. Pages represents a form of communication. Is this Knight of Wands connected to... Libra's the sun. I was going to ask, is the Knight of Wands connected to your past lover? Is this Knight of Wands connected to Libra's past lover? Is this Knight of Wands connected to Libra's past lover? Is this Knight of Wands connected to Libra's past lover? <sighs> That's a yes. Is this past lover connected to Libra's? Is this Knight of Wands connected to Libra's past lover? That is a yes. On the back, you have the judgment. That is a yes. Because I kept on feeling like this Knight of Wands knows something that you don't know. And especially the fact that the Seven of Swords came out. Seven of Swords is someone who, who's sneaky. Someone who did something sneaky. And they tried to cover it up. So this individual, I feel, knows your past lover. Or is connected to your past lover. And may know about some of the, you know, the drama that happened between the two of you. But you know what I'm sensing from this Knight of Wands? It's like this Knight of Wands feels, this Knight of Wands feels like they can treat you better. You even have the sun, that's a yes. When I asked if they're connected to your love interest, Page of Wands, yes. And then Two of Cups. Two of Cups confirms. Two of Cups is a partnership. So your past lover and this Knight of Wands definitely know each other. They, they're they probably even friends. But back to the characteristics of this Knight of Wands, it's looking really good. I mean, they're the Empress. The, you know, despite their gender, even, even if this is a male, as an Empress, it's just saying that they're very caring. They are an empath, Right? They're very understanding. They feel for others. And that makes sense as to why this individual is having sleepless nights because they know something that you don't know. I feel like this person is not happy. I feel like this Knight of Wands is not happy with the way your past lover treated you. Mm, this is kind of getting juicy. You even have the Hierophant that's here. The Hierophant for me, is all about confessing, you know, apologizing in order to receive forgiveness. The Hierophant is also someone who is seen as an, as an advisor. People go to the Hierophant to seek advice. So this is telling me that this Knight of Wands is, is also very wise. Six of Pentacles is here. Something's really bothering this individual. Like this individual feels like you were treated unfairly, like you got less than what you deserve. And I, and, I, and, and it, it looks like it's getting to a point where this Knight of Wands feels like they can treat you better because now they're interested in you. This may, may, this may cause some drama, honestly. Mm. Wow. Who is this Knight of Wands connected to? Who is this Knight of Wands? <laughs> Look, King of Cups. The Knight of Wands is connected to the King of Cups. The King of Cups, I am certain, is your love interest. The King of Cups is very emotionally unbalanced. This is someone who is sensitive, someone who feels deeply, but someone who does not like to show their vulnerability. 
And so the King of Cups, that's where you see he's holding back the cups, but he's showing the, the, the cards. He's going to play games with you instead of just giving you this love offer that he knows you want. This is someone who plays a lot of games. The King of Cups can come off as a player because he doesn't want to show his true feelings, right? And I asked who this Knight of Wands is, is connected to, your King of Cups. And you even have the Ace of Swords. The Ace of Swords for me is a big yes card, okay? Um, and you have, the ten, you have the Ten of Pentacles that's here. I feel like this Knight of Wands really admires you because the Ten of Pentacles talks about that ideal family life. So this individual, they see your worth, they see your qualities. And I feel like this individual is very much interested in you. I wonder if it's a situation where like, you know, the two of them are friends or used to be friends and, and the Knight of Wands ended up, you know, falling in love with you, being interested in you. This is, mm, Libra. I think in your last reading, it was like you had a player who was in love with you or something. Libra, it's something about you guys. It is something about you guys. Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. <laughs> Clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. On the back, seven of pentacles. So the nine of pentacles talks about someone who's single, independent. I definitely feel like this is you. You know, I feel like you're, you're doing a really good job with healing, especially for those of you who, um, I, I feel like you were betrayed. Most of you were betrayed in your past, okay? It was very painful, of course. But I feel like you're, you've been healing. I definitely see your progression. So continue to, you know, Continue to heal. Continue to let go of the past because things are changing. I feel like, I know the Wheel of Fortune didn't show up, but I feel like things are changing for you behind the scenes, even though you don't see it. Um, but with the Nine of Pentacles, this is saying you're very independent. You're, the Nine of Pentacles is someone who's successful, someone who's very abundant. So you're definitely someone who is working on their finances, their career. And even here with the high priestess, you're very intuitive as well. I feel like you're being spiritually led. Um, the high priestess is very spiritual, very um, intuitive, very insightful. You know that you're on the right path because you're being spiritually led. Ten of Swords is here though, okay? I do feel like... Um, the thing is, I feel like you were betrayed in the past, but I don't feel like this Ten of Swords is representing your betrayal. I feel like the Ten of Swords is representing this past lover who feels betrayed by you because, because you come off as someone who doesn't need them anymore. You know, when they see you, they see you doing your thing, focusing on your work, building your finances. Like you are flourishing when this person looks at you and you look like you, you aren't dependent on them anymore especially because you have the five of wands that's here um and then you have the queen of cups i feel like i feel like there's drama that's about to start libra i feel like with the knight of wands this knight of wands is going to approach you and that's why you have the five of wands the five of wands this is chaos this is drama this is a conflict this is a fight that's going on you literally you literally see five people fighting amongst themselves five people fighting amongst themselves because you have two people who are interested in you and you're here as the Queen of Cups. I don't feel like you really care. I feel like I, you probably wouldn't even mind giving this Knight of Wands a chance because you're the Queen of Cups. You're ready for love. You're in the dating scene. You're looking for someone to give your cup of love to. You're looking good. You're feeling good. Mm. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Tell me more about this Knight of Wands. I'm, this Knight of Wands is bold. How does this Knight of Wands feel about uh, Libra? How does this Knight of Wands feel about Libra? How does this Knight of Wands feel about Libra? They're going to take action to, towards you very soon. That Eight of Wands came out. And Eight of Wands represents swift energy, something that's going to happen quickly. They, uh, they see you as someone who is still stuck. Like they feel like you still haven't moved on from your past and I feel like they want you to. Mm, look at this, you have the King of Pentacles that's here. So this individual definitely wants a, a, a start with you, okay? They want a beginning with you, Ace of Cups. And then you have the King of Pentacles that's here. They feel like you are their perfect match because they see you as the Queen of Pentacles. Remember you came out as the Queen of Pentacles earlier and 
they are the king of pentacles. They feel like the both of you have a lot, um, a lot of similarities, that the both of you are, are very um, alike. The both of you are very hardworking, very successful people. This person really likes you. And I feel like they've been observing you for quite some time now, but you just don't know. Okay, but they're going to come towards you. They definitely will. But I feel like when they do, if you give this person a chance, drama, your person is going to be there. Your person is going to feel really, really betrayed because I feel like your past lover knows this Knight of Wands. Mm. Libras, you, you guys are wow. <laughs> this is like, wow. But Libra, you got to do what you got to do, right? So if you're interested in the Knight of Wands, go for the Knight of Wands. Okay. So Libra, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope this reading helps. Um, please take what resonates, leave what does not. If you're interested in a private reading, all my information is in the description box and in the description box only. I don't drop my information in the comment section. So please be careful because there are scammers out there. Also, please like, comment, and subscribe to support my channel. Thank you guys. Take care.